Hello everyone and welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. That's right, we're in another American Truck Simulator video. I've been doing a lot of these lately, but they've been pretty popular and SCS has been really pouring out the content lately. So that's why we're back today because we are once again checking out another new thing to the game and that is the JCB DLC. So as you can see today, we are hauling this JCB Fast Track 4220, and we're going to be taking it from North Platte to Grand Island, so a little bit shorter of a trip today, only 187 miles, but uh, it's going to be helpful for the Cruising Nebraska event for me, and again, gives us a chance to haul some new cargo, so let's go ahead and get on the road. We are in the Western Star 49X, I've got it spec'd out for heavy haul. And we're going to go ahead and pull on out of this prefab here and then start our journey towards Grand Island. So this is my first time driving through North Platte really. Um, my last delivery, if you watched my last video, was to um, McCook, which is just south of North Platte. So what I did after doing that delivery is I just switched the location of my trucks so i moved my 49x to my the nearest garage to mccook which was here in north platte and then i uh, just relocated myself to where that truck was so into that garage and then i also just teleported straight to this prefab so that, that way um i could just make my life a little easier essentially so uh kind of cheated to get here but um but I just wanted to, to clarify all that because I know that in my last video I was mentioning that I was trying to record pretty much everything I did. So just in case anybody that watched that video thought you guys missed out on something, don't worry, you didn't. Uh, we're, we're jumping straight back in and uh, again we are recording it. So I'm excited and going to get to see some new territory here. We've actually got some rolling hills. I think these might be the first hills I've seen so far in Nebraska. <laughs> Maybe not, but certainly seems like they're they're quite uncommon all right and we're turning on to highway 83 it's a nice day in the game I, I in game lately I've been getting a lot of rain so nice to have some sunlight today I don't know, like man that that property was in rough shape lots of stuff laying around For today's video, I don't know how much talking I'll actually do. Uh, I didn't want this to be a no commentary video, but I also didn't want to, you know, do a bunch of talking today. Well, so we'll have to see. But I guess main thing to talk about first is uh, the JCB DLC, since this is what that, uh, since that is what this video is uh, is all about, pretty much. So, um, oh, I just got a ticket for running a red light, even though we're allowed to make rights on red. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Nebraska it's different. I don't know. But definitely just got a ticket, so that's unfortunate. Um, but anyways, with the uh, JCB DLC, there's actually more than just the cargoes. So the JCLB, JCB DLC comes with uh, not just the cargoes, it also comes with interior cabin accessories, uh, like some hats. Uh, I actually don't remember what else at this moment, but... I'll be showing it on the screen so you guys can see it. Uh, of course, you know, I, the reason I'm not going through all this stuff in the video today is because the people that are going to do it best is going to be SCS Software, and they went through all of it on their live stream. So I'll make sure to link that live stream down in the description below. Uh, so definitely recommend checking that out if you do want to see everything that's in the DLC. They go through every single cargo, every single interior cabin accessory that is in both the DLC for American Truck Simulator and the DLC that's in Euro Truck Simulator. So super detailed, really awesome. It was a great stream. Definitely recommend checking that out. But yeah, lots of exciting stuff. I'm excited to haul the, the excavator, the JCB excavator. I think that'll be pretty cool. But I do have to say this, this tractor behind me is 
also pretty sweet. Uh, let's be real here, all of the, the stuff is pretty cool. They also had some, in the stream, they showed some, you know, promotional videos for JCB, but honestly, even the promotional videos were pretty cool to me. They went over some of their uh, electric equipment, as well as, you know, they showed some, I don't know if this was in a promotional video or not, but they also showed the, there's some loads that are uh, generators, so generators are pretty cool too. It's not just like equipment necessarily, like moving vehicle equipment, it's also generators and stuff like that. So uh, this DLC is going to be really, really awesome. And of course, it wouldn't be an American Truck Simulator video if we didn't get pulled into a way station. So that's unfortunate, but it's to be expected at this point. Alright, we have cleared the way station, and another thing that I wanted to talk about today was uh, kind of having to do with this DLC and the new update to the loading in this game. So, obviously with that, uh, with 1.50 came the option to load your trailer, like, by driving underneath the grain silo and then having it dump into your trailer, and then apparently you can also unload it like a similar way but I haven't actually figured that out yet but either way there's loading and unloading that is visual now and you can like take part in it yourself which is cool but I do think that they could actually build off of that even on trailers that don't necessarily load and unload in a way like that so obviously I would assume that the next trailer that they're going to do something similar to that with is probably going to be like the dump trailer because that's another thing that can be loaded up visually and uh, by you driving underneath something and then can also be unloaded by you driving to a certain spot or something like that but with a trailer like a low boy for example where something has to be potentially driven onto it ooh, <laughs> just uh, don't mind me swerving over into the other lane for a second I'll go and go into the outside view so you can see kind of what's what's going on. Um, but with you know something that has to be driven onto the trailer. Uh, oh wow, maybe I shouldn't do the outside view. I'm uh, this is not exactly the best driving that I'm capable of. But again, I guess I swerved into the other lane when I was in the inside view. So I guess I just suck at driving. But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, it would be cool uh, with the low boys and like the reefer trailers or you know box trailers I guess however you want to describe it it'd be cool if with trailers like that they had even just like a cutscene that we could watch where it like shows the trailer being loaded up I feel like that would be really cool kind of a another iteration of you know the like advanced loading I guess I could say so I, I would be interested to see if you guys have any thoughts on other ways that they could make advanced loading for other trailers that aren't just um, driving underneath something. So if you guys do have any ideas, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd really like to see what kind of ideas you guys have. And uh, we're coming up to that, that bridge again that goes across I-80. So again, we've driven this before, we've seen this before. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop, take a screenshot real quick and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Alright, done grabbing the screenshot for the thumbnail, so now you guys know where where it came from, and I couldn't couldn't hide it, so <laughs> had to had to stop there, but um, yeah, definitely interested to see what you guys think, see if you guys have any other ideas, and uh, I, I really would like to hear kind of SCS's thoughts too on what they're going to do next. I'm always curious. Every time an update comes out, I get so excited about the update, but then I immediately am, like, anxious, anxiously awaiting the next update, because I want to know, I want to know what they're going to add, you know? They always seem to add something that I didn't expect, you know, things that I, I wouldn't have even thought of. Like, I had never really thought about the advanced loading in this game and actually being able to see it, you know, even though it's something that is done in other games. I mean, like farming sim, for example, you can, you load the trailers yourself. So I had never even thought about it, but it was definitely a, definitely a nice feature to add. 
And it looks like we're coming up to our exit here. Oh, I'm supposed to exit here. Okay. I thought it was... It, this is one of those weird ones where, like, you exit and then continue driving on the exit for a little bit before looping around. And I didn't, I didn't realize that. I think the GPS was kind of trying to show me that that was how it was supposed to go, but I didn't fully catch it. I'm glad I caught it in just enough time to be able to do it, make the exit. In real life, I would have definitely not made the exit, but, you know, it's American Truck Simulator, so it's fine. <laughs> Alright, nice long lane for merging, but we're clear anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. And uh, if I remember correctly, I think our delivery is kind of on the other side of Grand Island. Okay, my bad. We're actually not in Grand Island yet. We've got this truck stop off to the left and this river off to the right. And uh, that one is a photo trophy, so I'm going to go into photo mode real quick this time. Obviously, when I'm taking photos for the thumbnail and stuff, I don't really show you guys, but since this one's for a photo trophy... I'll go ahead and show you guys what we're doing here. So it's for the Hungry Bison Smokehouse. I don't know why that is important enough that it's a photo trophy, but I guess if somebody's local to the area, maybe they can tell me why it's so important. <laughs> so grabbed our photo. Let's get back to driving. I also noticed that there's a uh, there's like a caboose over there, which is kind of cool. Once I come to a stop, I'll be able to get a good look at it. See, it's right there. Let's see, what is it? Oh, of course, the truck's going to block me. And another one's going to block me. Okay. <laughs> I can't read what that says, unfortunately. But in, in post, when I'm editing this, I'll be able to zoom in on it. And hopefully we'll be able to read it. I love that the GPS wants me to merge left and then immediately merge right after the intersection. It's always so funny when the GPS does weird stuff like that. And here we are, arriving into Grand Island. Population of 52,000. A lot bigger than I thought it was. After delivering in McCook last video, which had like a population of like 7,000 or something, or was it 700? I already don't remember. I think it was 7,000. 700 seems really small. But either way, to go from some somewhere that, that small to somewhere this big is, is funny. Crossing over some train tracks. I would assume those train tracks head towards the Bailey Ooh, yard. <laughs> that was close. I don't know why they would stop on an on-ramp like that, and especially in the middle of their turn, but I'm glad that I avoided them. I don't think I had anybody off to my left, or if I did, I must have just missed them. I just swerved without even <laughs> without even looking in my mirror, so hopefully we're all clear, but um, yeah, I, I assume those tracks probably go to the Bailey Yard, which I still haven't seen in the game yet, but uh, despite having, I think, either been to or through North Platte twice now. I still haven't actually driven by the Bailey Yard, so I'm excited to check that out at some point soon, hopefully. Alright, and then as we're kind of getting through the last of this light here, it's a little weird that we like go straight from being in the city and going through all these intersections to then like an off ramp from like a highway odd odd design to me but i'm sure they have their reasoning <laughs> so we're going to come down here and make a left and then we should be getting really close to our destination
clear to the right, and for some reason this guy is stopping. Even though I definitely stopped behind the stop signs, because I know they do that when you pull out too far. It freaks out the AI or something, for some reason, but that time I was stopped definitely behind the stop sign, and for some reason it still freaked him out, so... Whatever, I'll take it. Made it easier for me to get across. Alright, and these lanes merge together, so I'll let this jeep get by. Okay, or not. I guess, to be fair, I put on my blinker, so... Uh, again, the AI, when you put on your blinker, they're like, Okay, you're coming over now. I, I get it. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> so, I should have just waited. Since I wanted him to pass me, I should have waited to put my blinker on, but oh well. Sure enough, we are getting to our destination. It's up here on the right. We're going to have to cross these train tracks. Hopefully the crossing isn't too steep or anything since we've got a low boy. We would have a hard time making it across, but it looks like it is completely flat, so that's good. And all clear left and right, just in case we did get stuck. <laughs> and... We'll lift up the suspension a little bit since we're going onto a dirt road. We got a lot of cows off to the left. Very cool. Some of them are laying down, hanging out. Looks like we're delivering underneath that cover, off to the right there. Nice to know that we can look behind us and if we want to do a blind back, we can without actually being blind. I don't think we'll need to though, this seems like it's going to be pretty much straight back. Well, I guess not. The trailer still has a little bit of an angle the wrong way, and actually, even leaning out the window, we can see the other side of the trailer pretty much, so this should be pretty easy. Alright, I actually went a little too far in one direction. Well, I guess not, actually. That should line me up just about perfect just to be able to correct it and then straighten out and we'll be good to go. And we should be good right about there. Alright, so that is going to do it for today's video. If you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. I certainly do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, like the video and drop a comment below what your favorite part of the video was. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.